Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. I'm using the uh, answer deck for this particular reading. And um, then I'll... Oh, I did say I would do... I'll do the general tarot after this. Okay, so you've got some kind of decision that you have to make. It's a judgment call, so you have to decide whether you want which particular directions so you uh, you want to take. So you are at a fork in the road as far as your career goes. You're having to make some kind of de decision as to which way you want to proceed. You can see there. Now, uh, it looks like something has caused this particular decision or brought it on. There's a destruction card over here, which is like the tower card. So some kind of big uh, information or big revelation coming to light. You might have gone through a period of quite a lot of loss and now you're trying to redirect yourself into a, um, you know, a better place after going through all this loss. So that is why you are at the point now where you have to make a decision. It looks like there might have been somebody that has caused, has, uh, caused problems for you. Uh, you know, somebody that is standing in your way. You can see this woman, she's a brown-haired woman, but she's standing with a hand raised, uh, you know, stopping you from going forward. So maybe this is the reason why. Maybe you've had some kind of run-in with this particular woman, uh, some kind of dealings with this woman, and she's standing as an obstacle in your path. And maybe this is the reason why you've reached a point now where you have to make a decision about what you want to do, uh, because she's not allowing you to proceed forward or she's preventing you from, you know, receiving... Uh, maybe you want promotions, maybe this person is standing in your way and you have to make a judgment call as to what you want to do next. Now, in the past, you've got the heartbreak card. So something happened at work, uh, you know, that has left you quite upset. Uh, there's a lot of tears. So there's been some kind of incident that you had. And some news has come into you. It was something surprising that happened. Maybe this is the thing that, you know, caused, it was, uh, you know, it caused a lot of uh, drama, whatever this news was, it changed a lot of things and has spurred you into now this decision that you have to make. So going to the future, there's a lot of truth coming to light very soon. So there's something that's happened. Maybe, uh, you know, information had been with withheld. Uh, the, not everything was out in the open and now things are going to start coming to light. And, you know, it's not pretty, not very, very good. So maybe you know this. This is the thing that has caused all this destruction, all the bad news that has come to you. This uh, letter or information that has come to light has created a lot of drama uh, around you. And this has now led you to make some kind of decision. Okay, so um, those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm using the Sorcerer's Tarot. And uh, that's for the main read. Okay. So you've got the world card over here and it looks like you're making that the decision that you're going to make is to actually leave this particular job. Uh, maybe you've reached the top of wherever you can go as far as your progress goes and uh, there's no more scope for uh, advancement and you're deciding to actually leave the job and move on. You might be even thinking about doing a job, you're looking at, you know, international travel as well. Uh, she's got the you know the globe in her hand over here, so maybe you're considering uh, doing something on an international basis as well. But you're definitely coming to the end of this particular work cycle. It looks like you're reaching closure, completion of the cycle at work. So it looks like you're going to be moving on. The world card is one ruled by Saturn, and it's about work. So this is the end of that particular job. You could be retiring, but it looks like you're thinking of actually, um, you know, finishing off this particular job and moving on. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. Yes, there's travel coming up over here. You can see this person's on this. Um, oh, and they're moving forward. There's a lot of feathers over here. So you've been giving it a lot of thought. It's the Knight of Cups. It looks like there's an offer coming in for you, and then it might involve, uh, you know, international travel as well. So uh, it, it looks like you're going to be leaving this particular job, ending it, and moving on, because you can see this uh, owl is moving away uh, from the past and into the future. 
and there's a choice that you are facing at the moment. So really, the person that you're dealing with, you've got a big snake over here, uh, is quite toxic, um, you know, and uh, you're dealing with a very, very toxic situation. And maybe this is the reason why you want to end this particular job. And it looks like there is that offer coming in for you to move. Um, so, uh, you know, something coming in for you. There's a choice that you have to make. Uh, if you decide to stay in this job, you can have to, you know, you'll be very, very defensive. You'll have to watch your back all the time. So it looks like you're, you know, facing that particular decision. And it looks like, you know, you are dealing with a very, very nasty situation or a nasty person at this particular moment. And maybe this is the reason why you want to make that decision and move on. Now, it looks like you've been dealing with the situation for quite a while. Uh, this is in the last year, and this is the Seven of Swords. And you can see there's loads of snakes here. This person's got snakes on their head. There's a snake up there, you know, and uh, there's a lot of skulls over here. And, you know, this person's pretty upset. They're crying quite a bit. Uh, this is the Seven of Swords, and this is the card of lies and deception and deceit. And somebody's, you know, stabbing you in the back and stealing information or stealing something from you. So it's been a very, very toxic and nasty situation that you've been going through in this last year. Uh, you know, it's been continuous and it's left you very, very upset and very, very disempowered. You can see this woman is naked. So, you know, something has disempowered you quite a bit. Whoever this person is, they're pretty controlling and they control from a distance and they say a lot of nasty things as well. So uh, an awful situation to be in. Um, so now you've got that Queen of Cups over here. So you've been crying quite a bit uh, with this Queen of Cups. Uh, you know, and looking at this cup, it's pretty empty. You're unsatisfied or dissatisfied in this particular job. You're feeling unsupported. Uh, you're trying to make plans for the future, not really thinking, uh, you're not being able to do it, um, you know, because you're crying so much. So you're very, very upset within this particular job. Uh, whatever's been going on has been very upsetting. And you're also feeling very isolated from everybody else, uh, you know, as though nobody's supporting you. You're really just putting your head down and getting your job done. Uh, and it doesn't seem like, you know, you have anybody around you to give you any kind of advice or kind of help uh, over here. So, you know, you're good at what you're doing. This is the hermit card. But this is also feeling very lonely and very isolated in what you're doing at this particular moment. And maybe this is the reason why you have decided to, uh, you know, let go of this particular job and move on. Now, going into the future, you've got this Knight of Pentacles over here. So this is definitely whatever comes in. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but it's going to get you out of this particular situation. So this new job offer that's coming in for you is going to be able to take you out of this particular position and bring in more money or bring in new money for you. So there is that job coming in for you. So if you want to, you know, if you're planning on actually leaving uh, this particular job, and, you know, the card underneath that, is the devil card so this person has been very manipulative you're feeling very stuck in this position uh you know they've uh, they're very controlling whatever this energy is around you whoever this person is and maybe this is the reason why you're leaving this job and this offer is going to come in that helps you move forward uh, and it's going to bring in a lot more money as well and i think a lot more happiness is going to take you out of this position um you know there might be some travel as well involved and even some further study as well with that knight of pentacles so what's happening with you? The Wheel of Fortune is coming in for you. So whether you like it or not, change is coming in. And it looks like you're, you're working very hard to manifest this change as well. And it's generally a positive change um, with the Wheel of Fortune because it's the end of that cycle and it's the beginning of a new cycle. So you've got that work card, which is an end of a cycle, but you've also got that uh, Wheel of Fortune coming in over here. And you're really working hard to manifest this. You can see this man's really focused on that wheel. So a celebration coming in for you. So uh, you are going to get this new job that you want, it seems, with the, the celebration card. And the uh, environment that you work in, in the new environment, is going to be a happier environment. There will be a lot more support in that particular environment. So what you are afraid of, you are afraid of, uh, you know, you're worried about um, competition, uh, you know, for this particular post that you're going for. Maybe you're worried that you're not going to get this particular job because maybe a lot of people are applying for it. You also don't want to be in this particular situation you are at because there's a lot of disputes and unhappiness there. A lot of people fighting. Maybe there's a lot of power struggle within that particular job that you are in at the moment. So you've got the Five of Cups over here, and this is about regret and loss and disappointment and upset that has come. You can see this child is crying as well. So you spent a lot of time, uh, you know, studying. You have a lot of, uh, maybe you have a lot of degrees or a lot of training, uh, a lot of certificates. You've 
you know, you've, you've been doing a lot of studying for this particular job, you're well trained up for it. Uh, but, you know, you have got a lot of regrets because there's been a lot of disappointments. Maybe there hasn't been the promotions that you wanted. Uh, maybe you haven't been uh, able to move forward. So you are thinking about the past quite a bit over here, and you do you are planning, making plans for the future over here. So, you know, you can feel the upset in this particular card. Maybe they're keeping you down and not allowing you to progress. The eternal child, you know, being in that particular position and not giving you any scope for progress. And this has led me left you feeling very, very unhappy and also disempowered because she's got the wand in her hand and she's not using it. And she's got the big moon in the background over here. So there's a lot of lies, deception, deceit going on around you, but it's left you unable to make any kind of move. You're, you're, you're almost stuck in that particular position over here. It's also a very wintry scene around this woman. So, you know, you've got a lot of luck going. You want more money to come in and, you know, you haven't been able to progress. So it looks like you're going to cut it out and move on. There's some kind of uh, deadline that you have to meet over here. You've got this uh, hourglass in the hand, um, and it looks like you're cutting out, uh, you know, everything from the past, and you're moving forward. So you're going to change jobs, and you're going to leave this particular job. This is the death card. You can see almost like the scythe has cut out the moon, and it's cut out this five of cups. So you're leaving all this unhappiness behind. You are going to move forward. All the, you know... All the things that you haven't managed to achieve in this job has got you really down. So you are now cutting it out and you're going to be moving on. So it looks like there's a big change coming in for you over here. The Wheel of Fortune is bringing it in. But also it looks like there's that new job offer that comes in, for, you know, and it's going to take you into a new position um, where you're going to have to work hard uh, to get there. But there's more scope for advancement. Um, and it looks like you decided to, uh, you know, cut off or leave that job completely and walk away. The new environment that you go into is going to be a bit more supportive and you're going to be able to make a lot more friends as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot. And there you go. The position that you are going to get into is the uh, emperor card, which is using logic and structure to increase your success, get organized, a firm but compassionate leader. So it is a leadership position that you're going into. Uh, it's going to bring, uh, give you a lot more authority in your hand and, uh, you know, a lot more control of that situation where you've been really manipulated in this particular job. Um, you know, like I said, you've got the devil card at the bottom of you, a lot of manipulation and control. It looks like even here with the seven of uh, swords, there was a lot of manipulation and control over here, you know, dealing with a lot of nasty energy. Uh, it looks like you're going into that phase uh, where you're taking back that control. So whatever job is coming your way is going to be something of leadership and it gives you a lot more authority as well. And then it's the wheel of fortune coming in over here. You can see that spinning wheel over there, which is talking about work. Now you will have to work hard. But it looks like uh, delays are over, sudden unexpected good luck, a new car travel. So it looks like this Wheel of Fortune coming in twice here. So there's definitely a big change coming in and you're definitely going to be moving on. Ending the cycle, you've got that death card definitely putting an end to that cycle and moving on. And then Ace of Summer is that new opportunity coming that's going to bring a lot more ha um, hope, a lot more joy to you. Open your heart to love, the beginning of a new um, relationship. Uh, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual ep epiphanies. Now, this for me is like a new job coming in for you uh, that might involve teaching or even learning uh, an opportunity to learn, but something brand new coming in that you really have been waiting for and brings you a lot more abundance and a lot more happiness uh, with this Ace of uh, Summer, which is the Ace of Cups. So it's bringing, heralding in the summer, uh, if you like. So, um, you know, there's something brand new coming in. And it looks like that Wheel of Fortune ends that situation and brings in this new opportunity for you. And it's going to be a, a really a, a much better position that you're going for. So you're ending this uh, this cycle, you're ending it with the world, and you are going to be moving forward. So good luck with that. And uh, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading has uh, resonated with you. Uh, take care now. Goodbye.